Hi, this tutorial will teach you how to enter a link in your blog post. It is geared for people that do have WordPress installed on their website or blog, so you would be looking at a dash dashboard similar to this one where you would be writing your blog post. So we've gone into the area posts and add a new. We've written part of our blog post out and now we want to make a couple links. One question people will ask is why do you put out links? to other websites. Well, it helps uh, validate the content that you've written in your own blog post. Maybe you're making reference to a source or reference to a book that you've read, anything out there. And if you go and find a link to that website, it lets the people know that are reading your blog that you actually are referring to other areas on the internet that they can get more information and that you're not just maybe spouting off words coming out of your own mouth that have no uh, validity to them. Although that is the way some people blog and if that's the way you blog, go for it. So in this case we're, we've written our blog post and now we want to take a couple topics that are in it and make them link. So in these case what I'm going to do is use business blogging tips and tips on hiring a virtual assistant. Those are the words that I want to have a link going to. So the first thing you want to do is open up another window. So for business blogging tips, I'm going to make reference to Denise Wakeman's Build a Better Blog. She's always got good information there. The topic that I was talking about was something like that. So I want to put a link in there so people can read more by going to her website. And in this case, I just want to go to the main website. I don't want to go to any spot inside of it. So I just hit her home page and up in the top address bar on your web browser you've got the link to her website. You want to copy that. I always recommend copy and pasting for entering web URLs for links because you're a little more accurate. If you have to type it in you might miss a colon or a slash and then your link won't work and it makes it very frustrating for visitors to your blog. So you go back to your blog, you've copied the address that you want to make a link to, you highlight the words that you want to have the link go to, and then what you're going to do is click in your formatting toolbar, and we're using the visual editor here, I'm not going to get into an HTML editor, and you're going to click the button that says insert or edit a link and it looks like a little chain link. It opens up a little window and it has four areas. Now some people may have a different version so you might see more. The two main parts that I want to show you are the link and the target. So the link we're just going to paste in the link that we took off of Denise's website and the target I always recommend opening the link in a new window. What that means is the target is when people click on your link where are they going to open the link? In the same window or in a new window? I always like to have people go to a new window because that means your blog stays open on their web browser and it just opens either a new tab or a new window depending on how they have their browser set. The title you don't need to worry about because we've got that by highlighting it. The class you can align or move things around in this but we're going to stick with a very simple link at this point. So you're just highlighting the words that you want, you put in the link, the target, and now you hit the insert button. And you'll notice now that the business blogging tips is highlighted and underlined. So the link has been created. The other link that we want to make in this blog post is tips on hiring a virtual assistant. And we're going to be using VA Networking's blog that they have set up for VAs and clients. But in this case we don't want to go to their main part we actually want to make reference to one particular blog post. So it's really important that you click on the blog post, get to the actual spot you want people referring to. So if you want them coming to this blog post about communication tips, you want to make certain that you use this entire address up here. You don't want to have them going to the main page when you're talking about something that's further in the website. You have to get to the actual spot you want people to click to in order that their linking and clicking all matches up. If they're learning that they want to read about this particular thing and you send them to another area, it can get really frustrating. So we've copied that URL, we've come back to our website, highlighted the words that we want to have the link go to, click the chain link insert edit link icon, 
we're going to paste in our link that we want to use we're going to have that open in a new window and hit the insert button and again we've got the link there at this point you want to save your blog post draft and you want to preview it because you do want to make sure that your links are working last thing you want to do is write something have the links all be broken and then when people click on them they don't work so I always check so you go to your preview click on the link okay the first one went to build a better blog great the second one goes to the actual communication tips blog post that you wanted to go to as well so now you know that your blogs are all set your links are all set up they're working they're proper and you're all set to publish your blog post Hopefully this little tutorial has helped you learn how to put a link in your blog post. This is Kathy Koliakovo of Time on Task VA Services, and if you're ever looking for more tips on social media, or blogging, Facebook, or Twitter, feel free to check out our website at www.mysocialmediava.com, or you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash timeontaskva. Thank you, and have a great day.